Hello there guys, welcome back to the Chelsea Man Football. I hope you are doing all right around the world. Subscribe to the Chelsea Man Football, hit the notification bell, so we can try to finish in top seven. At this time, it looks like maybe top seven will be nice for Chelsea Football Club. If we do that, I will understand, because it's been a rough, rough time for us, rough. Oh my God, 2023 has come with different things, different manager who doesn't know what he's doing, different tactic, the players lavish, everybody lavish. Nobody knows what to do anymore. They're all giving up and we are going down and we're talking about the irrigation. But there's something came out today, something came out. Finally, Top Bori spoke up and what he said, I agree. But, and there's something I didn't really agree. Let's go straight into it. Chelsea and the performing stars are facing a fight for their future with the club owner planning to overhaul the squad and end the era of player power at Stanford Bridge. Breaking Chelsea owner are seriously considering a squad clear out. If performance do not approve, like Kai Havertz, Christian Pulisic, Akim Ziyech are facing uncertain future. Good, very good. That is very good. We should have done this under Thomas Tuku. Remember, Thomas Tuku, we did not lose week after week like that. We lost, we win. We lost, we win. And Thomas Tuku. Yes, the result was not perfect where we wanted. And I was one of a guy who was saying Thomas Tuku need to be sacked. And I was happy. You can watch my video. I was very happy he was sacked. But my mind, I was thinking maybe after we sack Tuku, maybe we're gonna go with high manager. The likes of Zidane ends a lot, those high manager. I was thinking that because that's what Chelsea do. But I forgot one thing. It's not Roman Abramovich's era. It's Americans' era. Top Bori. <laughs> we forgot all that. Everybody, I think, they did forget that. Because now Chelsea, it's running very differently. But, as I said, I support Chelsea changing all the squad and making sure the player power ends now. There was Kai Havert, Akim Ziyech, Christian Pulisic, those guys, they are one of them. It's not just them. There's Georgian over there. They are not performing right. They need to go out together with Porter. I don't agree with Porter, what he's doing. The tactic, the guy is done. He's done. He doesn't know what he's doing. And all those players, they don't know what they're doing. So both players and those player and Porter, they need to go. They need to leave us alone. We cannot continue doing this. We cannot continue seeing Chelsea suffering for this, for nothing. You see, we are the champions of Europe, man. We, it's so sad to see Chelsea without the Champions League football next season. Very sad. For the first time in years, without the Champions League football, without the Conference League, without the Europa League. Crazy. Newcastle, they are loving life. They are number three on the table. Arsenal, number one. They're about to win the Premier League. Even United has changed. United, they're on top four and they're on form. But player powers Chelsea, it looks like it's gonna come to an end. And good, I support that. I do support that. But Porter has to go too. If results hasn't changed, I, we are playing Southampton on Sunday. If we lose that and we drop to 14th place or 15th place, are they gonna just keep saying Porter has to we have to back Porter. No, no. Something has to change. You see, they can't just let Chelsea go down like that. They are losing money. They are losing money. <laughs> you, cannot, you cannot keep losing money because what it is, if you keep dropping like that, nobody wants to play for your club. Even a manager, you cannot get a high quality manager. All the players, high quality players, they won't come because you, you don't have Champions League football and you are down, you are fighting relegation zone and you're becoming like Blyton. Which player can come to your club and play and feel nice? No, nobody. They will all deny you because nothing is happening. So 
Chelsea are doing this good of clearing all the shenanigans the players are. Who is not serious in this Chelsea team has to go out. They're getting paid lots of money and they're performing like this seriously. Seriously. The only guy who came in in this Chelsea team and performed his first game in the Premier League, Felix Ledcat. And I understand he's the only one who was pushing. You see, if all the Chelsea players they were pushing like him like this, helping him around him, he would not have been sent off. There was no nothing helping him. The guy was just pushing himself. He got red cut. I don't blame him. I blame all this squad. They do not know what they're doing anymore. Some of these squad, some of them, they are the Champions League winners. It is very sad and shameful to see. Chelsea about to get a winger from PSV. Chelsea are now in direct contact with PSV. A dove for Nan Maduka he is the least alongside Marcos Alem as potential option. Opening verb proposal close to 30 million as Eric Frick reported new round of talks scheduled. PSV open to sell at their condition. Very good. I think, as I said, there is player uh, clearly or there is player who is not doing well. So Chelsea now, they are in more searching for new players who are willing to play for Chelsea. You know, freely. You know, you are getting paid a lot of money. Then why are you not playing properly? You want more money? Then show what you can do if you want more money. Because it's right. You know, we have to see this team win it. If they don't, out. The door is open. Go somewhere. They will accept you. So PSV and Chelsea are negotiating for Maduka, a winger. And he's good. He's very good. He's not great. He's a good winger. I'll end it there, guys. Let me know what do you think about this transfer for Maduka, PSV, Chelsea negotiation. Let me know about the player power ending finally at Chelsea. Because I remember the player power was very strong under Roman Ibramovich. If he was Roman Ibramovich now, Grand Porter, you would be sacked three days ago. <laughs> and he will, we will look for another manager. That will happen without a question. But those days I remember, DJ Droba, Frank Lampard, John Taylor, they had power, man. They will sack the manager if they just say something to Bramovich. Oh, the manager will call very quickly. But now, Chelsea, they are trying to change that and back the manager. As I said, we should have done that when Tuku was in charge. But now, Grand Porter doesn't know what to do and we're backing him and we're getting rid of players. And getting what? Average players? We'll see. We don't know which players we're getting. We just know this Maduka guy, PSV Chelsea negotiating. And I will get him, a winger. I will get him because we need to get rid of uh, Kai Havert out. He needs to go. Even Akim Ziyech, he needs to go. All those players that are not performing right, out. Get new stuff in. And let's see what we do. But my worry is this. We're getting rid of players and we have the manager who doesn't have great game plan. He lost it. That's my worry. Is he gonna put these players in the right position or is signing? I don't know. As I said again, guys, I'll repeat. These players we have right now, they are not stupid. They cannot just go off like that. They can't. They are good players. Some of them, they won the Champions League. It's crazy. Full stop. <laughs> I'll see you very soon for tomorrow. As I said, my match preview, Chelsea Southampton, it's going to be very interesting. So keep your eye on that one. I'll see you soon. Have a lovely day and God bless.